It is probably the most beautiful commute on earth. Every day, thousands of people take a ferry to work across Sydney Harbour. But it is not as green an option as the ferry's paint job suggests. Boats are big polluters. By 2020, more of the acid rain polluter, sulphur dioxide, will be generated by vessels at sea than all the vehicles on land. Enter Solar Sailor. It seemed like an obvious idea and somebody had to do it. Robert Dane was a small town doctor and a weekend sailor when he took a look at a solar boat competition in the 1990s. Most of them took down their flimsy solar panels when the wind strengthened. He had a brainwave. He built a solar prototype where the panels were not limited simply to catching the sun. It was the beginning. Passenger ferries around the world currently use close to 300 million tonnes of fuel oil every year. The beauty of this system is that it doesn't just use the solar panels for solar power, it also uses them as sails. The moment that I knew it would work was the moment that I read that insects evolved wings initially as solar collectors and then used them to fly. And at that moment I knew, well, boats can evolve wings. He sold his medical practice and went into business, and almost everyone told him he was mad. When we started in 1999, uh, no one had ever heard of a hybrid car. Oil was $10 a barrel, and uh, people weren't educated about global warming. So it was, this is a great idea, using the sun and the wind in the water, but it, what does this, what's the relevance of this? The wings can be operated manually or by computer to maximise their efficiency as sails, even as they gather solar energy which is stored in batteries. There is also on this prototype backup power from natural gas. You see one of the old uh, Sydney ferries going uh, by at the moment. Are people willing to pay a premium at this stage just to be green? Right now I think we're on the cusp of uh, where it is actually economical to use the more expensive capital cost of the hybrid electric systems. Now we're looking at three to five years return on investment. And now everyone wants to know. Contracts are signed or pending for ferries in San Francisco, in Shanghai, Hong Kong and Europe, with unmanned military applications also under discussion. There remains though one key problem. Solar energy input ends when the sun goes down. The next great advance will be in batteries or some new generation energy storage system to keep the vessels running hard and clean through the longest winter night. Hugh Rimmington, CNN, Sydney.